welcome back oh <sighs> welcome back or if you are new welcome for today's video as per usual I have been scrolling through Pinterest. <laughs> we'll just assume from now on, every bit of inspiration I get is from Pinterest. But I was looking through Pinterest and just for some reason, a load of Victoria's Secret like models came up. Well, obviously they're very aesthetic, aren't they? So I'm not surprised actually. But I came across photos like this. I, there's, there's many, there's many, many photos. See, they just keep going. <laughs> but. I just thought it'd be fun to like do like a Victoria's Secret inspired makeup look. Not gonna turn out how they do because I'm clearly not a Victoria's Secret model. <laughs> Nowhere near close, but it's fun to do. You know, it's natural makeup. So if we're gonna take anything from this, it's probably just gonna be, you know, your quick like five to 10 minute makeup routine. <laughs> but we're gonna pretend for right now that we are Victoria's Secret models. I even wore a robe. I don't have a pink one. I, I have a silk robe nonetheless. Now that we've got all that out of the way, if you haven't subscribed, the button is down below if you would um, like to join along on whatever is happening. But yeah, um, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, first up, I'm gonna put some clips in because it is very much in my face right now. My hair is very much in my face. Now we're going to prime. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Paula's Patty Primer. I'm not gonna go too ham with primer today because usually I'm like using like I was gonna say like six, that's a bit extreme. I'm usually using like two or three different primers because I like to be matte and most of the looks I do are matte. But today we're gonna to do just this one. I'm using like most of those photos as inspiration. So it's pretty much all the same, isn't it? It's just very like natural light makeup with, with like pink all over it. Oh, I got glitter on my face. One thing we are gonna do now, um, we're gonna use the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. I'm gonna spray this on the outer parts of my face. I'm not gonna like directly do it in the center, but it's probably going to get on the centre at some point. So I'm just going to give it a quick spritz. I have already like prepped and all that stuff, by the way, with like moisturiser and all that stuff, but that part's boring, so we won't see that part. My face is still damp, but we're going to go in with um, the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser in the shade 2W1 Natural, just because... Oh, wait, should I use a full coverage? Because I am... No, it's fine. We've got concealer. We'll see how we get on. Probably regret this in about five minutes' time, but... For now, we're gonna use tinted moisturizer and hope for the best. Yes, it's a darker shade, but when you blend it out, it's like not, not too bad. So I'm gonna use a brush to blend. Okay, now that we've done that, we're gonna go in with the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer in the shade Fair Warm. It's very bright, but I feel like that's the vibe to go for, isn't it? Put a tad here, in there. I'm gonna use it to highlight. And I'm also gonna use this to go over any blemishes. I know it's gross, but whatever. Don't know why I'm breaking out so much by here. Look at me right now. <laughs> I don't know why I'm breaking out so much by there, but... And just because we've got so much going on over here, I'm just putting some here. Just so I'm not like bright on one side and the other is just like neutral. Okay, and use a brush again to blend. Okay, next up, we're gonna do some cream bronzer. This is the Soleil de Tan Chanel. I'm gonna take a... a this brush. <laughs> Swirl it round. And we're gonna keep it mostly towards the back of the face, because obviously we need to be lifted. We want to be... <laughs> as chiselled as possible but whatever's left on the brush i'm just bringing down here underneath like the apples of the cheeks taking it on the forehead as well i got under the nose and on the chin just kind of tapping over the nose as well bring some color to the center for blush i'm using the rare beauty liquid blush in the shade happy i'm not going to put too much on i'm just going to put like a dot here i'm going to use my beauty blender to just stipple it in We'll probably add some more in a minute, but I'm just going to see how I feel once both sides are done. I'm just going to keep adding it until <laughs> I feel satisfied with the result. I'm just kind of bringing it up onto the temples as well. Just this whole like back area is like flawless onto the tail of the brow as well. So it blends seamlessly. Just kind of bringing whatever's on the sponge just under the eye a bit. Not like all the way in, but like up here. So that it looks more natural. For highlight, I have this like highlight stick. No idea where it's from. This says beautiful bronze the perfect sculpt sunkissed glow stick <laughs> no idea where it's from and it looks like children's makeup but it's not i promise i'm just gonna draw a tiny bit on here it doesn't lift your makeup so it doesn't really matter if you just go onto the face with it 
I'll just blend in it with my sponge. Look how pretty it is. Okay, I'm just gonna set my T-zone so I don't have like, you know, creases and oiliness peeking through. So I'm using, that went everywhere. I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. Just taking my little poofy pad and pressing it on the under eyes. And then everywhere on my T-zone. Basically just keeping the cheek section like there. Okay, I'm just gonna do like some slight nose contour because I just, I can't do a makeup look without doing my nose contour. Just because, I don't know, I like it. <laughs> so I'm just doing my normal nose contour. Okay, next I'm gonna do my brows. I'm gonna use the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in the shade 4.5. First, I'm just gonna brush them through. Okay, I'm just gonna add like the tiniest little bit of powder blush just by here because I feel like I've, I've lost it already. So this is the e.l.f. blush palette. I'm gonna take just this peachy pinky color here and just add it like light-handedly. Light-handedly? <laughs> I'm gonna use a light hand to apply it and just tap it. Okay, now I'm just taking my um, highlight stick again. I'm gonna put some over the end of the nose and up here between the brow area and also some on my top lip. Blend that out with my sponge. Okay, for the eyes, I'm gonna go into this Tarte Tartlet Toasted Palette. I'm gonna take the color Cashmere, just like a, it's like a peachy brown type of shade. I'm gonna just run this through the crease and up through the brow. I'm gonna blend it up. Okay, now I'm gonna take a little pencil brush and take the same color. I'm gonna just run this over my lower lash line. I'm just using a pencil brush because it gets right up in there. We don't want it to be like too smoked out on the lower lash line, so. Okay, on a slightly more like precise blending brush, I'm gonna go in with the shade Latte, which is more of a darker brown. I'm just gonna put this in the crease as well. And now on a brush like this, I'm gonna go into the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I'm gonna take the color Sweetheart, which is a pinky color. I'm just gonna sweep this over the lid. It's a lot more like brown than I was hoping for. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go into our blush palette and take the same blush we used on the face and run that over the eye as well and up into the crease so it's all like everywhere. Now onto the same brush again. We're gonna go into the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna take a mixture of all three of these pinks actually. I'll run that over, over the lid and kind of into the crease. I'm gonna take a little angled brush and I'm gonna take a black eyeshadow and I'm just gonna line the outer third of my upper lash line and do a small wing on the outside. I say a small wing, but I'm physically not capable of achieving a small wing. Now that we have our little wings on, we're going to curl our lashes. And for mascara, we're going to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Ooh, we have an eyelash. Make a wish. <laughs> I'm just going to go into this highlighter palette from Dior. I'm going to take a little pointy brush and go to the white one. I'm going to put it in my inner corner and then take the same one again, put it on the brow bone. Okay, for lips, I'm going to go in with a dark brown lip liner to begin with. I know it seems a bit extreme, but I'm going to overline and it doesn't look right if I use like a lighter colour. So I'm going to use dark brown. It's not going to look dark brown in the end. Don't you worry. This one's from Obsession and it's the shade Hookup. Just gonna blend this with my finger. Now I'm gonna take this lip liner from Primark. It doesn't have a shade name, but it's like a little pinky color. I'm just gonna use this to blend the lip liner into the lips. Now I'm gonna use this Pat McGrath Labs lipstick in the shade Flesh 3. It's like a little like red color. I'm gonna just head it in here and then blend it again. Now we're going to top it off with some gloss. We're going to use the Morphe X Maddie Ziegler Lip Gloss in the shade Peach Pucker. And to set the face, we're going to go into the centre with the Primark Sunset Beam Coconut Water, just in the centre. We're going to go back over the outsides of the face with the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. Oh, I got hair in the gloss. And our fragrance of choice today is the Miss Dior Roses in Rose. Just because I feel like, you know, it fits the vibe, you know. It's pink. Can't really see it's pink because I've got the background. But I mean, like, it's pink. Oh, oh no, I've got an itchy nose. Uh, 
How do I do it? How do I do it? Okay. I'm gonna do one of these, one of these. <coughs> I inhaled it. <coughs> and this is the finished makeup look. It was very quick to do. Well, I mean like as quick as it can be when I'm explaining every step to a camera. But I've got your nose again. It would be a very quick makeup look on the day to day. So, I mean, this could be my new everyday makeup look. Just, you know, sporting the uh, Victoria's Secret look, you know what I mean? I got mascara under my eye. <laughs> wow, this is so high fashion of me. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It would mean everything, everything in the world to me. <laughs> Every time I do this outro, the, the meaning at the end, it would mean gets so much more aggressive it's so intense every time and I can't just be like, oh, it would mean a lot. I just need you to know how much it would mean. <laughs> the subscribe button is down below or on my face on either side of the screen here. And after all of that, I hope I will see you in the next video.